Hey guys, what's up? It's Timmy with T to the 4 on iTech T24, and today I'm going to give you guys my rumors on the iPhone 5. So it's about that time of the month again when the rumor mill starts turning and turning and there's a whole new batch of rumors for an Apple iPhone. And basically, let me start off by telling you guys what I think is going to be on this new iPhone. So first of all, I think Apple is definitely going to call it the new iPhone, not iPhone 5, simply because Apple just named their iPad or iPad 3 the new iPad. So I'm personally thinking that uh, the new iPhone is going to be called the new iPhone. And let me start off by telling you guys what I think it's going to actually have, like in, like physically and internally. I personally think it's going to be a world phone, meaning it's going to have a, an, an antenna that can cooperate with any 4G LTE network. I personally think that there's going to be 4G LTE. You could sign a two-year contract with AT&T, Verizon, and Sprint, and you will be able to basically have 4G LTE, like 10 megabit per second speeds, anywhere you are with five bars. I personally think that's going to happen. It's definite because the new iPad also has 4G LTE and it's going to have true 4G LTE. I know that like in the 5.1.1 iOS update, there is a 4G logo where the 3G logo used to be on the iPhone 4S and people thought that they had 4G, but it's not true 4G. Apple did not teleport an, an antenna into your iPhone. So it's not true 4G. Apple somehow got away with that, but this time it's going to be true 4G. So next thing that's going to be on it is definitely a new design because the transition from iPhone 3G to 3GS, if you guys remember that, it was the same design and the transition from iPhone 4 to 4S was also the same design, same exact thing. Uh, but now the transition from the iPhone 3GS to the iPhone 4, there was a whole new redesign, a lot, a bunch of new free features. So I'm personally thinking the transition from the iPhone 4S to the iPhone 5 is going to be similar to the transition from the iPhone 3GS to the iPhone 4. There's definitely going to be a redesign. It's going to have a liquid metal back. That's what all these rumor people, what, what the, all these news sites about tech are having rumors calling it a liquid metal back. But let me just bring it down to short terms for you guys so there isn't any confusion. So if you guys know what the MacBooks are made out of, MacBook Pros and iMacs and I, the back of the iPad, if you guys know what that stuff is made out of, it's made out of polished aluminum. I personally think that, that that's exactly what they mean by liquid metal. It's going to look like that. The back of it is going to look like that. It's not going to be a metal back anymore. It, it may or may not be true. I'm no oracle. I don't. I can't predict the future because there have been leaked images that actually show that it, it's a just a two it's a two color back glass once again. But I don't think that's going to happen. Maybe it may or may not. But since they're leaked, it could happen. And next thing about new design, it's definitely going to have a larger screen. Apple, if you guys know this or not, I'm pretty sure you guys, Apple fanboys, just like me, know that Apple has maintained their 3.5 inch diagonal screen design ever since the first iPhone that came out back in 2007. They have always maintained 3.5 inches. I personally think it's going to be larger than 3.5 inches now because all phones on the market are huge. One of the biggest phones in the market is the Samsung Galaxy Note, 5.3 inches. Unbelievable. Because I just think Apple, I, I, I'm pretty sure the iPhone may be one of the small, it's probably the smallest smartphone on the market right now. So I think they should go for at least 4 inches. I personally like 3.5 inches, but I, I just, the only reason I see them doing this, because they want to fit a bigger battery, which leads me to my next point. Bigger battery, it's going to be thinner which means you could put a like a a longer battery a thinner longer battery into it meaning that there's going to be more battery life and they're also going to be con they're also going to be getting a night not a they're going to drop the 30 pin dock just like the the 3.5 inch screen it's always stayed there since 2007 the 30 pin dock has always been there but i think it's time for an update for many reasons one it's too thick they want to make the phone thinner they got to get a different pin a pin connector. Uh, two, it's too long, so that takes up too much space. That's why there's all these rumors about Apple getting their dock smaller because it just makes sense. It makes sense. Apple wants to wants their phones to progress. Maybe they're going different paths than Samsung and all these other companies because they're not putting NFC technology into their phones. But they definitely are going to make the battery bigger. They're definitely going to make the phone thinner because why would they want to retrogress? 
why would you want your phone to be thicker and have a larger battery? I know the battery that we have now isn't the best, but it could be bigger. Like, you can make the phone thinner and have a larger battery into, fit into the phone. A thinner, larger phone means that you could fit a larger battery into it. So, next point is that obviously they're going to they're going to enhance the processor and the specifications. I personally think that there isn't going to be an A6 processor. Don't go out to the Apple keynote that we who knows when it's going to go on, but don't walk out to the Apple keynote thinking that there's going to be an A6 processor in the iPhone 5. The, when the iPad 1 came out, it had an A4 processor, and then the iPhone 4 came out a couple months later, and it also had the A4 processor. And then the iPad 2 came out, uh, it had the A5 processor and a couple months later the iPhone 4S came out and it had the A5 processor too and then a couple months later the, the iPad 3 came out the new iPad and it had an A5X processor so I personally think there's going to be an A5X processor in the iPhone 5 it's not going to be A6 it's definitely going to have enhancements of RAM definitely larger specifications quad core GPU is good enough for me I personally, I don't see why you would need like a 5 gigahertz bajillion processor on your phone because you don't really do any, you don't edit video on it. And even if you do edit video on it through iMovie, it's very smooth. I've already tried it. You don't need more power. The only reason I would see myself needing more power is if there's going to be true multitasking like on the Samsung Galaxy S3 where you could move around the video while you're in Safari and you could do all this stuff, watch a video while you're playing a game. That's the only reason I see the new iPhone needing to have a, a better processor and more RAM. But it definitely still will have a little bit more of an enhancement. Don't expect a lot, but it will have a little bit more of an enhancement. There's going to be a quad-core GPU, which stands for Gaming Processor Processing Unit, which means basically that your games are going to be a lot faster than they are now. But games that are that on the iPhone 4s are still very good quality and very fast and very smooth so next thing that's gonna be there is definitely gonna be better cameras I know there's an 8 megapixel camera which is very nice and very awesome on the iPhone 4s on the rear of it but I'm talking about the front facing camera it's like it shoots in 360p which is definitely not HD and it's for FaceTime so I personally think that Apple should if they're a smart company, they will enhance the front-facing camera, and no longer will they think that oh, it doesn't matter as long as you see the person and as long as the person sees you a thousand miles across the country, it's okay. But we still want better quality. And what if you want to take front-facing camera pictures? What if we're vloggers and we're walking around with our iPhone? We don't want to shoot in 360p. So the only solution we have is to shoot backwards. If Apple puts a 720p camera at least onto the camera, then it would be perfect because that's what we need. Okay, so there's also going to be a retina display, which is going to be a very nice, very nice display, as always. And there's also going to be passbooks, iOS 6, everything that iOS 6 has to offer, which is basically passbooks, Siri being more integrated, much more features. You could ask Siri the scores of the football game. You could also ask Siri basically to open applications for you, all this stuff. There's going to be map, step-by-step -step navigation. So many new features. Like, this is, like, the best update. It's better than iOS 5. It's the best step from an, one iOS software to the other. So, there's a lot to expect, and it's definitely going to make your iPhone 5 experience a lot better. iOS 6, of course. Siri is going to be awesome. Siri is not going to be as useless anymore. I got to be honest, I made, like, alarms when with Siri, and I also made reminders, but that's all I use it for. I actually I used it when I jailbroke my phone because I I installed all these tweaks, but that's basically all that Siri was useful for without a jailbroken phone. So there's gonna be that. There's there's gonna be so many new features. Like get ready to be overwhelmed in a good way. So that's basically it, guys. If you guys like this video, then please check out my channel. It's down in the link in the description below, as well as up above me right here. Just click on that, and just to let you know, it's www.youtube.com/slash T to the four, so just click that once again down in the description. And thanks, Matt, for having me on iTech T two four. You're awesome. You make really nice videos, and I'm pretty sure everyone, every one of your subscribers knows that because they watch your videos as well as me. I've seen every single one of your videos, and they're awesome. So yep, yeah, just that's basically it. I hope to do this again sometime. And check out Matt's video right here on my channel. And that's basically it. So I'll see you guys later. See ya.